Hello everyone, this is Mr. Zas. Back again. This time, some welterweight action, but the good action. Competitive action. That's the most important thing here. For the fights to be competitive and hard to determine. Uh, this time it's Errol Spence Jr. versus Sean Porter. Both fighters are world champions. Spence bringing IBF with him and Sean Porter WBC so which means this is unification fight Sean Porter has been already two times world champion and Errol Spence Jr. is going on his first run at this moment he's uh, four title defenses down and this is going to be his fifth one and uh, yeah what can we say about this fight I mean both fighters are quite good and I think everybody would favor Spence Jr. in this fight as he's a bit bigger guy because he's 5'9 and a half and Sean Porter is only if you look up right here after the box rack Sean Porter is 170 which is 5'7 I think this is quite a competitive fight, even though I will be preferring Spence to win this one basically on his height. Height advantage, I mean, two and a half, three inches will gonna play a big role in this case. And just being a bit more superior boxer, just a bit better boxer. I mean, they're both quite close. It's just Sean Porter reminds me kind of a mini version of. Um, Joe Fraser, you know, he, he's just getting in there and he kind of tries to slug it out. I mean, he has good chin, good engine, good defense. But uh, Spence, he has that explosive power, you know. He walks from outside, he jumps in, unleash 1-2, one, 1-2 two, one, two, and, you know, cracks people up. Like he did it with Kell Brook. So, yeah, I mean, I would say this is a good good equal fight even though I'll be saying that Spence Jr. Are gonna win this one I don't want to say it's completely one-sided because Sean Porter has a really really good chin really good defense so I don't think they will gonna be knockouts I think it, there will gonna be lots of highlights in this one but no knockouts and I think Spence, he just will gonna out jab and out punch Sean Porter from the long distance. That's about it. There will gonna be lots of clinching. There will gonna be lots of slugging it out. Uh, but I don't see Sean Porter going down. I mean, the fight is not really hyped up at this moment, but they will gonna hype it up because I think this is a good fight. There needs to be some really good undercard for it. Uh, yeah, I mean it's 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 all happening slowly for for the undercard, but they will gonna hype it up. I mean there's two belts on the line, it just cannot go unnoticed for everybody. So I would say it's like 60-40 favoring Edel Spence to win this fight on points. So guys, I share, leave leave a like, leave a comment, and definitely subscribe and uh, tell me what you think. Who gonna be the winner? And have a good one.